homestead education um, oh we got uh, some announcements I got uh, here pretty soon I'll be selecting uh, the $25 SPD giveaway also we got a new competition coming up but that's not what I'm here for today we have a bug we think it's the flu uh, last night I was aching all day, well, all day yesterday I was aching and was studying and I couldn't study and I was aching everywhere and I got home and turned out I had a 102 fever had it all night last night it went jumped between 101 and 10, almost 103 my kids had some issues headaches earaches throwing up my wife has been just stellar through all of it all night long helping us all out now she's got it but we're all getting these headaches. And um, one of the things I was gonna show you today, we've been, we've been eating um, a lot of the bone broth, <clears throat> little bit of meat, um, cutting up some cilantro and chives and garlic and putting it in there and, um, and drinking it. And um, it's, it feels good on your throat. It doesn't sit real heavy on your stomach. It's really good for you. And uh, I felt a lot better last night, um, even though I had fever all night. I did feel better after I had a couple of small bowls of, of my bone broth. Um, but we all have headaches. We're, we're getting dehydrated. I've lost over eight pounds in one day. And uh, we need some hydration. And uh, water is good. Water is always good. But what I'm going to do <clears throat> is we're going to make... We're gonna juice a lemon or li and or lime. I don't even know what we have available, but um, we're gonna juice lemons and limes and put it just in some room temperature tap water with a little bit of salt. Salt helps uh, helps your body hold in some of the nutrients. And of course, the lemons and limes have a lot of vitamin C in them. And then I'm gonna also boil up about a cup or two of water and slice up and put a bunch of ginger in there <clears throat> and let it seep for about oh 20 or 30 minutes and then I'll pour that in with the lemon juice and we're just gonna sip on that um, we have a couple of these one gallon jugs um, a friend of ours brought over to us it's Arizona sweet tea jugs that have been cleaned out we're gonna make a couple of those and um, that really helps you with rehydration. Hopefully it'll help take away these headaches and help us get back on the road to health. Um, a lot of people who are getting this bug, it's been a month or more. I can't afford to have a month of, <clears throat> of a sick family, myself or my wife or my seven children. So we're hoping we can just kick this thing in the butt and get it out of here. And then we'll go through and we'll will uh, sterilize the house. I may show you a video on that as well. So one thing you can do to help release juice um, in lemons or limes in this case, uh, I think we're out of lemons, <clears throat> is if you'll just set it down on the counter before you cut it and push on it and roll it. And this will help to release, break up the pulp and the matrix inside of the, the fruit and release the juice so that whenever you cut it open it's just flowing out of there um, so let's see if I can do this while I'm videotaping probably not it is really hard to videotape and cut <laughs> a lime and then we're just gonna squeeze it out hey Abby hold hold that right there we're going to squeeze out all of this good lime juice. <coughs> We're going to pour it up. We'll do this with um, maybe two of our limes per gallon. Also, if you make, uh, if you'll cut this rind up in slices, um, I should put the rest of the lime juice in there. If you'll cut this lime up in slices, the pith and the outside 
have a lot of oils, a lot of vitamin C. It's really good for you. We've made tea with it before. Um, the only the only issue with doing that with store-bought non-organic is you don't know what they sprayed on the outside. Um, so if you do it, make sure you wash it really, really good. Um, go ahead and cut another one of those, son. <clears throat> Instead of uh, sugar to put in there, um, which does, you know... Anytime you can add something that's just a little bit sweet, it tends to help with particularly children wanting to drink it. But sugar also um, contributes to feeding um, a lot of bacterial infections, um, different things like that. So what we're going to do is add some stevia to it. Um, stevia is a natural sweetener, but it, it does not have uh, the glucose or... Um, any of the other things that should it shouldn't feed um, any kind of bacteria virus uh, fungal uh, type of infections or whatnot that you have so we're gonna we're gonna use what we got left here probably to make some individual cups of limeade now we're gonna add some salt see if I can find it um, we have Somewhere up here, there it is. Pink Himalayan salt, sea salt. Go ahead and take that off, baby. And we're just gonna put. I can't get it. You can't get it. Daddy, can you help me? You hold the jar. There we go. Now what am I supposed to do? Well, let's see. Is there any like little, this? sure, that is a uh, half a teaspoon, and I'm going to say we'll probably add a um, little less than a whole teaspoon to each of these. Hey, you want to do that one? All right. Now we're going to also add the water to it shake it up meanwhile i'm going to get some water to boil and we're going to put this ginger on well my older daughter right now she's slicing up real thin some ginger and um, we're going to add this to a pot of water it's getting heated up right now that's probably good right there and um, we're going to add it over here to this water that's boiling and just seep it for a little bit, let it pull out all the good stuff from the ginger. Um, ginger's excellent for you. It's got good flavor. And um, anyhow, boy, I hope this helps out because my head is pounding. All right, so this is just coming up to a light boil and I'm about to turn it off. We may add some of this honey right here. Um, but we're just going to seep this for about 15 minutes or so, this this uh, ginger. And, uh, you know, I think I will add some honey in there. Not too much. Just a little bit to offer some sweetener. All right, so as I was saying, honey is an excellent food. Uh, it's an excellent sweetener. It's antifungal, antibacterial, antiviral, and stays good for indefinitely. Uh, once those bees have encapsulated with the wax. So anyhow, <coughs> we have here our two gallons of drink mix that we're going to start rehydrating with now. And hopefully our family is over this in the next 24 hours. Um, I appreciate any prayers that you guys send out. Um, if you enjoyed this video, if it gave you a good idea for how to help rehydrate you and your family when you're sick, try it out and enjoy it hopefully it works out for you guys um please comment upvote re-steam and follow and i look forward to seeing you guys soon and feeling much better have a great day